Welcome to Toffee TV, it is the Everton News Daily. Kevin Morales has finally left Everton Football Club after seven years at the club. He has joined Royal Antwerp in Belgium on a free transfer just ahead of the close of the European transfer window. So it's finally done. He had a year left on his contract. A uh, lot of talk of whether he would go on loan for a year or, or whether Evan can get a fee for him. They have uh, finally let him go on a free transfer. So not sure what that means in terms of his wages. Will, his, will that be it? What will, what will he get for leaving the club? Um, will Evan have had to give him a golden handshake? Not sure at all, but he's, they've got him off the books. He had no future at Everton Football Club under the current manager and Marcel Brands. So, yeah, a weird one for a player that was at the club for seven years. I have absolutely got zero feelings on this at all of him leaving the club, probably because he sort of mentally left the club about two years ago. Um, on his day, a very, very good player, just didn't have that enough. Um, when he was probably most loved by Everton fans, he kept on doing either stupid things or when when we thought he was at his very best around, probably around uh, Martinez's second season, he basically said he wanted to leave and wanted to go and play Champions League football. It never it never happened. He obviously had loan spells, at Olympiacos and, and Fiorentina last season, but... No, so very sad ending to um, a very exciting player who just never showed that enough for Everton Football Club. So that's done. It'll help Everton out in terms of wages and, and FFP and all that kind of thing. So hopefully the first of a few more going out before the window closes. Yannick Blassie, who is another one that Everton are trying to get rid of. Apparently he's rejected a move to CSK Moscow. Um I fully understand why why he's, why will it, why he would have done that, but Everton will hope that he still he still leaves the club. Um, you know, Marco Silva was asked in the press conference today, and he basically said, you know, these players know my feeling. They're not part of the squad. They're not going to play games, and it's up to them to get a move away from the club. So we'll wait and see in the next two or three days whether Everton can get the likes of Yannick Balassi out the club, Nias, uh, Martina. Um, and if they can, then that would be a massive help if we can get rid of these players on payment deals towards next year's budget and trying to get in better players uh, for more money on more wages. That would that would be a massive boost. So let's see what happens in the next few days. Uh, one of the one of the players that has left, Callum Connolly, who's obviously gone to Lincoln City on loan. Uh, Joey Barton, the Fleetwood coach, has uh, basically said that. He's not very really happy. He said that he he'd been promised a loan player this season uh, off Everton. It's because Everton took the chief scout of Fleetwood to Everton, uh, Steve Davis, who's now Everton's UK. Let me just check this UK scouting manager, um, uh, and he says that Connolly was steered away from joining the club, from joining Fleetwood, and he's not very happy. Everton have refuted the claims. Basically, you know. As, as as part of the deal for taking Steve Davis, they would get one, a player. It, it, they want a Callum Connolly. It hasn't happened, and he's not very happy. And as I say, Everton are refuting those claims. But um, there you go. Probably for the best. I wouldn't want to play under Joey Barton. Doesn't seem to be the nicest person in the world or the nicest player uh, manager to play under. Um, so, yeah, Everton have denied it. So there you go. What else is happening in the press conference today? Uh, the manager was asked about players' availability for the weekend. He said everybody's fit, bar Gabarman, Sean Philippe Gabarman, who's obviously going to be out till late November, um, probably. So he said everyone's fit and everyone's in contention. It leaves him a lot of uh, probably headaches, good headaches. But he said the likes of a Wolby, the likes of Keane, Delph, done themselves no harm with their performances against Lincoln. So. Good stuff, opportunity for the manager to get his thinking cap on and, and think about how he's going to get more goals out of this team going forward. So, um, excellent news on that front ahead of the Wolves game, the last game before the international weekend. And obviously with it being the internationals, uh, Michael Keane, Jordan Pickford, they've been called up for England. Tom Davis has been called up now for England under-21s as well. Um, so that's good for Tom, who obviously hasn't played that much for us so far. A uh, couple of fixture 
changes or certainly um, announcements. The Man City game has been moved back to the Saturday at the end of September. It's a 5.30 kickoff. That's because of Manchester City's involvement in the Champions League on the Tuesday. So that's happened. And the League Cup game against Sheffield Wednesday is a 7.45 kickoff on Tuesday, the 24th of September. So uh, a few days after we play Sheffield United. So a Sheffield double there. Sheffield United at home, Sheffield Wednesday away. So if you're going to that, now you know when it's going to be and the time of the kickoff. There you go. That's everything from the Everton news today. The day Kevin Morales left Everton Football Club. Uh, if you've liked this video, please give it a like. If you haven't subscribed, please do as well. If you want more great videos, including live videos, I've literally just done an hour and a half, hour and near half live video on youtube that i normally do on patreon every single day so if you want more videos and live videos join us on patreon as well all the links are in the description thanks for watching toffee tv i'll see you later